Hi there, curious minds. In this session, we will delve deeper into the fascinating subject of geography, with a focus on the arid world of hot deserts. Let's get learning. Imagine a vast, open landscape, where the sun is ever blazing, rainfall is a rare event, and life seems nearly impossible. Yes, we are talking about a hot desert, a place of extremes, marked by its high temperatures, extremely low humidity and sparse biodiversity. Despite these harsh conditions, hot deserts are a unique part of our Earth's ecosystem. Contrary to popular belief, they're not all located near the equator. While many do lie in these tropical regions, the distribution of hot deserts can be influenced by several factors, not just latitude. So next time you think of a desert, don't just look towards the equator, look at the world as a whole. What shapes these scorching landscapes, you ask? Well, two primary factors play a significant role. One is the prevailing wind patterns, and the other is something called the rain shadow effect. Prevailing wind patterns can lead to the formation of deserts when they consistently move moist air away from a particular region. On the other hand, the rain shadow effect occurs when a large mountain range prevents moisture-laden winds from reaching a region, leaving it dry and, over time, transforming it into a desert. Now let's touch upon the soils of these deserts. They are as dry as the arid winds that sweep across them and lack essential nutrients. This makes them somewhat inhospitable for plant life. But don't be mistaken, these soils also tell a story of adaptation and survival against all odds. Life in a hot desert may seem unfathomable, but a few resilient species have adapted remarkably well to thrive in these barren lands. One such notable creature is the dromedary camel, also known as the Arabian camel. With its ability to go without water for days, it's a real-life desert survivor. Then we have the iconic saguaro cactus, with its tall frame and arm-like branches reaching out towards the sky, storing water to endure the desert's relentless heat. Also inhabiting these lands are desert tortoises, their hard shells acting as personal mini-habitats, and scarab beetles, rolling their precious dung balls across the scorching sands. These species, and others like them, have each found their unique way to thrive in these harsh conditions. That wraps up our session. Hot deserts might be harsh and inhospitable, but they are also places of extraordinary survival and adaptation. Remember, each day brings new learning opportunities. Until next time, stay curious.